boom, 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 boom. Ah, you drive broke my combo. You know, just to give you a sense of scale, all that gameplay we did in the first video, we're only 9% of our way into the game, so... I think you're getting a pretty good bang for your buck on this one. Welcome back to another episode of Let's Play Thousand Games, I'm your host Gaming J, and here is Batman brooding dark, dark thoughts. This of course is the part two to our Arkham Asylum Let's Play. Um, we're not going to be finishing the game necessarily, but uh, this is a game that I have a lot of cherished memories of, and I wanted to do a little bit more than just a one episode. So we're going to hop back into the story here. Alright, so here we are, right where we left off. Joker is still taunting us. It's like he was taunting us the entire time that we were away. Here, by the way... Oh, here's a secret map. Once you pick that up, if you go to your maps, you can actually see roughly where all the Riddler secrets are. So this is this significantly helps you figure out uh, where you still have to go to, like, uh, find things. But, um, let's also go ahead and scan this teddy bear. Pretty sure this is Bane's teddy bear. And Riddler has a riddle about it, so I don't know. Scanning a weird teddy bear. So here's the way it works. Harley Quinn has got good old James Gordon tied up. We have to sneak our way into that room. See how there's all these armed thugs? If any armed thug sees me, she's going to blow Jim Gordon away. So we cannot let that happen. I won't let you down, Jim. I won't. So we are going to have to go and Batman it up in the, in the vents. I kind of feel like I'm... Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Hank Venture sometimes with my obsession level of Batman. If you, if any of you guys watch the Venture Brothers, uh, Hank is always talking about being Batman, much to the chagrin of Brock and his dad, because he does not have the skills to be Batman. But I think I may, maybe I have the skills. Maybe I have the skills. I don't know. Am I impressing you guys so far with my Batman skills, or is it more like meh? Um, oh, look, you can look through here. So those are the guys we got to take out. By the way, I noticed uh, when I pop. Oh, there's a Riddler trophy over there. You see that? I, I just realized that I'm wearing a Batman t-shirt and I mean it makes total sense to play this game dressed like Batman so I got my Batman t-shirt on. I didn't even think anything of it. I have a couple of Batman shirts and I wear them occasionally because they're shirts that I own. The, the, the way everyone wears clothing they own once in a while. Um, and I just I didn't even think anything of it. Uh, but it's kind of amusing that I'm uh, wearing the Batman garb. Where was that Riddler trophy? Oh here it is. Didn't want to miss that. Now let's take this guy down. Boom! This part's pretty easy. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. This guy might see us. <laughs> have to... Hold on. Get in corner cover here. Okay. He's going down like an idiot. So this part here, you cannot get caught at all. If you do, obviously, that's a big problem. So you just got to be, like, really careful here. Mistakes matter. Of course, this game is pretty generous with the checkpoints. Batman's really good about setting up bat checkpoints. So if he messes up, um, he can go back just uh, like 30 seconds. So this game isn't that punishing or anything like that. Oh, God, are we going to get there in time? No, 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 no. Oh, God, I can't believe we got that. Wow, that was down to the wire. The guy was literally looking at us, and he just didn't have time to process what he was seeing. But it was the goddamn Batman. And we batman him up. Um, the, this door is locked. As you'll see, there is something in there. And I guess we're going to find out soon enough what it is. <laughs> Was she talking about Jim Gordon's going to pee himself? I don't think so, Harley. Do you know Jim Gordon at all? That man doesn't pee himself. He's the one who causes the pee. He's not the peer. Don't taunt me, Riddler. I'm in the middle of something. In the middle of this! Oh! If that did not break some bones, I don't know. Like, I landed on her so hard, she's unconscious. She's literally unconscious. Uh, so while we play this cutscene, um, I will mention that, uh, as I said in the first video, I originally owned this game on Xbox 360 and ended up buying a PS3 just so I could have this on the PS3. One of the other reasons was not just because I was away from Canada and didn't have access to my Xbox and I desperately wanted to play this game. I mean, that was a big reason. But another reason to buy this on PS3 by the way, is that the PS3 version has exclusive Joker content. So you can actually play as Joker in some of the challenge maps and stuff. By the way, we're getting in here, and uh, this is going to be another boss fight in a second, because you're about to see who this is going to be. It's Bane. 
He looks extremely malnourished. That's not the Bane that I remember. That's, uh... He's looking a little on the weak side there. Side there. I guess that's what Bane looks like when he does not... He's not pumping roids. But uh, anyway, yeah, the PlayStation 3 version had some exclusive Joker content, which is kind of awesome. Um, maybe I'll try and, like, pop into that real quick, depending on how long this video takes today, just to kind of show you what it's like to play as Joker. It's kind of fun, but it's... I mean, it's fine. Uh, I think this game, the Batman parts of this game are better. Um, yeah, get the hell out of here, Gordon. I, I, this can only be bad. <laughs> Jesus, imagine there was like a juice you could pump into your veins and you could literally become a beast hemoth, which is what he is. Like, like, look at this. Like, if I don't dodge a single one of those punches, I'm just squished. He's gonna squish me like a bug. And, oh, there goes my back. If you actually fell through a brick wall, I don't care if you're Batman or not, you wouldn't have a spine to speak of. And uh, now all of a sudden there's bricks blocking that entrance. So uh, you gotta stun him and jump out of the way just as we did with the big guys. We were learning, guys. They were teaching us. Oh, God. <laughs> okay, hold on. Let's get out of here. Come on, buddy. No, you won't. <laughs> right into the wall. Yeah. I, I I don't know why he punched me that one time. Okay, hold on. Oh, God. Jeez, I, I'm like so rusty fighting him. Oh, we're going to rip out some of his things. So this is, this is how Batman traditionally beats Bane in the comics. He just figures out a way to like get the little, uh, get the juice out of his system. Bane is basically a steroid monster. Uh, this is, of course, the more traditional uh, interpretation of Bane. Holy crap, he just ripped a piece of the wall off. That's hardcore, man. Like, I thought the monster we were fighting before was intense, where he was, like, throwing people at us, but this guy's, like, literally throwing part of the wall at us. Oh, God. There we go. There we go. Oh, God! No, 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 Batman! Behind you! He's, he's grabbing more wall! Okay, hold on. We gotta get the hell out of here. Dodge! Wow, I'm pretty sure he uh, <laughs> hit one of his own guys with the wall. Um, but anyway, this is the more traditional uh, Bane. Not like the uh, Christopher Nolan Bane, who... Uh, he was a very different Bane, but I really enjoyed the unique take on the character. I will say that the interesting thing about all the Christopher Nolan Batman villains... Like, the whole Christopher Nolan universe is a much more realistic Batman universe than we've ever seen before. But it's awesome, like, all the villains, they're very, they're, it's a very sort of unique take on, like, the Joker and Bane and all that. I really like the, like, realism. Um, I also, though, really, of course, like, the real, or not the realism, but the style of this Batman game. Um, I kind of wish that they had made an Arkham Asylum Batman video game at, at some point. It's almost like the, um, oh god, hold on, whoa, god! <laughs> It's almost like Ben Affleck's Batman in Batman vs. Superman was almost Arkham Asylum Batman. Because if you if you look at the, if you go back and rewatch that warehouse scene, the like best Batman scene in the movie. Damn it. Oh god! Okay, hold on. <laughs> this is not good. How come Bane keeps hitting me? Get out of my way, Bane. Oh, he just crushed his own guys. Here we go. Let's dodge in slow motion. Get over here. Boom! Oh, I think we took him out. I think we got him. Um, but Ben Affleck's Batman was almost, almost Arkham Asylum Batman. Like in the warehouse scene, it totally feels like Arkham Asylum. The way he's just like messing up crowds of guys and using gadgets and like countering and blocking and stuff. I kind of wish that we would get a real Arkham Asylum Batman. I think that would be really cool. Um, but I don't know if it's in the cards. Um, I mean, it's just, it's a miracle we got this Batman game. Um, again, one of, I think one of the best depictions of Batman I can think of is like an interesting mix of the animated series, some realism, but also just enough zaniness. Like, no human would ever be as big as Bane. When we see Killer Croc, you'll see, like, no human, like, Killer Croc can't be human. You gotta be, like, a freaking monster or something. Anyway, Bane is not done with me, but jokes on Bane, because Batman is always one step ahead. The what the hell's the brouhaha? <laughs> yeah, Bane. 
Suck my cob! Boom! There you go. <laughs> I thought Batman had a no-killing rule, but I don't know. That's, I guess, if he doesn't see the tattered corpse, it doesn't count as killing. I gotta believe he totally should have murdered Bane there, though. Anyway, he's sending Jim back to the mainland because it's way too dangerous. Radio claims he's planted bombs all over Gotham. Gotham will panic. You're needed there. Yeah, you go do that stuff. I'm having too much fun on the island by myself. I don't want you getting in the way. No more hostages. Rescuing hostages sucks. I built How'd you manage to... Uh, basically, he's telling Oracle that he's going to go to a hidden Batcave that he has hidden on the island, which is totally Batman. I talked in the other video about how Batman always prepares. Batman is like the most prepared man in the world. He's just like always preparing for stuff. Should we upgrade the combo Batarang? Or what is this? Automatically detonate, selectively detonate. Nah, forget that. Let's do the combo Batarang. It's time to bring Batarangs into the fold of our sweet, sweet combos. Chink. Um, oh, that's a, that's a great view of Batman. He's sort of jumping and throwing at the same time. But yeah, Batman is the most prepared man in the world. Of course he would have a bat cave, a hidden bat cave on Arkham Island. So we have to head up. Let's see, how, how do we get there? It's the fastest way. Uh, let's go up this way and this way. I think that's the best way. So to the left and then the right. All right. And in the way, and, and, and as we get there, we're just going to beat up some thugs. By the way, this island, by the way, like, look, there's just random tires lying around. Like, every single building looks like it's in incredible amounts of disrepair. Like, no wonder the criminals are, like, you know, running amok. I mean, this place is just really... It could use a woman's touch, is what I'm saying. Aw, oh, man. I wanted to use my, like, combo thing on this guy and, like, break his leg. I'm pretty sure I'm beating up the same thugs over and over and over again. It's like the exact same thugs that I fought a dozen times before. All right, there's a bunch of guys at the top of this hill. We need something cool to yell at them. I got nothing. Tally ho! <laughs> That's like my most intimidating Batman shout. It's not intimidating at all. And we're gonna block this. Oh, come on, Batman. I find a lot of times it's just about getting into a groove with these like Combos. Kaboom, 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 kaboom. Here's a little trick. You grab this guy, you toss him far away, and then you can take him down before anyone can come stop you. This guy obviously tried to stop me, but that ain't gonna work. And kaboom! <laughs> He's like, oh no! I'm positive I've beaten up that guy before. Um, by the way, they're building something over here, as you saw in the last video. It's slowly taking shape as you play the game. The island will change. Also, Batman's got a little... Well, he's got a little bit of battle damage. He has that one tear in his suit that he's had since the middle of the last video. I guess there's not that much new battle damage that he's taken. But, alright, is there any bad guys up here? Nothing. Well, that's good. Deal with Dead Man's Point. It's been a favorite suicide location on Arkham Island for over 100 years. Yeah. Uh, see, there's a grate in the wall. We don't have the tool yet to open that, but eventually we will. And then our life will be good. But right now... So this game very much has sort of a Legend of Zelda or metroid -y kind of system to it where as you play the game you unlock more and more abilities and those abilities allow you to do more and more things and more and more of the island becomes accessible. More and more shortcuts open up. Like, it's just a great system. Like, it's interesting to think that even this game owes... Oh, damn it. You blocked my attack. You ruined my combo, you dick. Oh, God, no, Batman. <laughs> you can't get out of that takedown as soon as you start to do it. So it's important to not do it when guys like that are going to come around and stop you. Okay, let's stun this guy. Do this guy. Break this guy's freaking arm for breaking our combo. Kill this guy. This guy. Stun him. See, it's kind of like solving like a little puzzle. These, like, combat things are kind of like dynamic puzzles. That's why I like the combat in this game. It's so interesting. But, yeah, it's interesting to think that even a game like this owes something to Legend of Zelda um, and Metroid, you know? Like, those classic video games. They just influence games that would come in so many ways. Hey, look, my cape is kind of torn. Look when I'm running. See, look at the bottom right corner of it. See how it's torn? Yeah, battle damage, man. Battle damage. I love how he gets battle damage. 
in all the Arkham games, he gets battle damage. To totally awesome. Um, of course, there are... Ooh, Amadeus Arkham. Let's hear what he has to say. My family's blood ran through the heart of Gotham. We were doctors, politicians, and teachers. We have been the organ cleaning the arterial filth from the city. We have been its servants, giving all to protect it. And still, it is chosen to hurt us. I guess we never did listen to the original Amadeus Arkham thing. We kept getting interrupted. But basically, they're just these, like, creepy voice things from, like, the 1800s. And you sort of wonder, like, how are they here and stuff? And, oh, man, this looks, like, ghostly. Oh, look at all the skulls. Like, this is not a good hospital. This is not a good hospital. <laughs> Unless Batman put them there to scare people. Um... But yeah, the whole Armadace Arkham thing is like another mystery to the island. You know, this like Edgar Allan Poe gothic horror angle to it. So, uh, yeah, this game has a lot to explore. All right, so Batman, of course, is doing an awesome show off -y dive into a hidden bat cave. And here he is showing off his billion dollar empire by showing you what a high tech cave he's got going on here. Like, that is so cool. I, I want something like that to scam me when I come home. To be like, welcome, Jay, to your house. I want countermeasures that prevent people from entering my house. I want basic security. <laughs> I have nothing in my house, guys. My house is totally unprotected. Uh, it's not totally unprotected, I guess. I guess if you come in, you're going to find me, and I am not someone to tassel with. I'll fight you if you're an intruder. Probably not, actually. I don't know how to fight, but I'll play a video game with you, and if I win, then you're going to have to leave. Anyway, here's my sweet bat computer with uh, my bat screensaver. And I'm going to do some computer hacking here. See, he does detective stuff. In this game, you don't do too much yourself, but in the cutscenes, he's doing detective-y things. Basically, the gist is she's taking Bane's venom and trying to create another version of it to create monsters. So we're going to be fighting some monster men. That uh, are in the, the vein of Bane. The vein of Bane. All right, we'll skip the rest of that cutscene because we don't need it. We're going to go ahead and grab a bat grapple. Now we can not only grapple up to high pace places, but we can, like, yank people. The bat claw can also attach to enemies. <laughs> oh, yeah, it can. Um, he's just, like, admiring it. He's like, ah, oh, ooh, ah, oh, very nice. I'm going after All right. She was heading um, so the bat claw... All we have to do, switch to our good old bat claw here, and go boom, and we can pull stuff. We can also quick shoot it like this, and pull stuff, and that's how we do. So remember that grate that I showed you on the wall? That I was like, we'll be able to open that soon. Now we can. Now we can like grapple grates that are in the wall. It's actually a pretty cool ability. So we're exiting the bat cave here. So see that grate up there? You just go like this, and you yank it. With all your muscles. There you go. And that's all you do. And then you can grapple up. So now we've unlocked... There are new areas of the island that we'll be able to reach, which is pretty cool. Now we're hanging out in the sewers, though. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> Just, like, eavesdropping on this guy. <laughs> like, imagine how terrifying that'd be if he turned around and saw me right there. Instead, I'm going to suffocate him in my pit. <laughs> imagine that armpit's got to get pretty smelly. Hey, the Joker guys are at least starting to put on, like, clown makeup. Um, you may wonder how you get that Riddler trophy. There's another Riddler trophy. It's common. We need yet another gadget. But uh, the grapple is pretty cool. You can use it in combo uh, in combat as like part of your uh, combo. So you can like grapple this guy over <laughs> and then, like punch him. And there thugs there like trying to pull stuff off the wall, but we're not gonna let them do that. We're gonna. Oh God. Break it, break it, Arb! <laughs> I was kind of getting caught in a corner there. There we go. You get the most points when you do, like, these ground takedowns. So it's good to do that. And you also get points for, like, doing this. Oh, God. Oh, land. There you go. See, it's like an intricate little puzzle. That guy's just, like, passed out in the corner. Oh, what the heck? We totally had him. Oh! <laughs> a foot to the face with the back of the head against the wall. Perfect free flow perfection. Damn straight. Got a random interview tape lying around down here. Killer Croc. You guys can listen to that while I continue to play here. Um, 
All right, let's see what's going on in here. Anything? Oh, yeah, there's Killer Croc. Yeah. Definitely doesn't seem like a human, unless you have a very loose definition of the word human. Like, in, in all the Batman stuff, I thought, in the, in the cartoon at least, Killer Croc was like a circus dude who just happened to have, like, a skin condition. But in this, he's, like, literally, like, some kind of Croc hybrid monster. Like, he's a genetic mutation. He could be a villain in X-Men. I mean, I'm fine with it. Again, this is not like the Christopher Nolan Batman where it's hyper-realistic. But it's just kind of interesting, like, the different takes on Batman. Like, in some universes, it's pretty much more or less realistic, except that some people are really, really crazy, like the Joker. But in other versions of Batman, it's like, no, they're straight up, there's some monsters. Hey, this is weird. The payments to Dr. Young's account didn't stop exactly. So Oracle's doing some background research, trying to figure out what's going on with uh, Dr. Young and Joker and all that. Um, this is an interesting part of Batman, too, because, like, you can't grapple. If you try and grapple, like, it's too brittle, the brick, so you can't actually use your grapple around here. So you have to figure out a way to, like, run and jump your way through all this. It's kind of cool, actually. Um, let's go this way. I kind of remember where to go. I'm just gonna, I'm gonna let my heart guide me, guys. My instincts. Let's break these things. Stinking teeth. We destroyed five Joker teeth. I like to think that when you catch Joker, he's like, ah, but did you catch all my chattering teeth? They'll drive you mad. A picture of a dead baby in a threat. Picture of a dead baby in a threat. Oh, uh, all right. Picking up uh, more Riddler trophies here. So this game not only included the voice actors of, you know, Kevin Conroy and Mark Hamill, who are sort of the definitive Batman and Joker for many people. But they, this also, the story, by the way, that we're kind of ignoring in the background, that you're welcome to um, go and, and play for yourself to, to you know, if, if you are enjoying this playthrough and want to know more about the game. Um, that, oh, look at this. Another Riddler trophy. I'm a genius. Um, the story was written by Paul Dini, who was one of the writers or creators, I think he was one of the creators of the animated series Batman, so it's kind of interesting how they, like, even like even the story, they weren't content enough just to, like, write a good Batman story. They're like, no, we have to have someone who knows what they're doing. Um, I feel like this is the kind of stuff that, like, I said in the last video, it's kind of refreshing to see a, fr a popular franchise given to a team that really cares rather than just, like, EA or something like that. I feel like this is a level, the attention to detail and the consideration that a company like EA would never do. They'd be like, screw it. We're just going to give employee 123774 the rights to make it, and we're going to expect him to do it on a shoestring budget and make a billion dollars of DLC and microtransactions and loot boxes because all we care about is money. I think that's the sad thing about video games. Going off a bit of a rant here, but like in the early days of video games, video games were created by people who liked video games. Now they're created by companies, and like, you know, there's still people, there's still many people who like video games who create them. But it's just not the same as back in the day when it's like, if you didn't like, you know, when there wasn't really much of a business around it, it was just people who liked games that really wanted to make it. Um, I guess games did always commercialize very quickly, but I don't know. Maybe it's one of, maybe it's like just one of those things where it's like, when you get old, everything seems like it was better when you were a kid, but really nothing is necessarily better. Maybe I'm just being a crotchety old man here, but um, anyway, I'm going to deny that I am. Okay, let's see. Oh, there's... A sniper here. Well, good thing we're up here. Let's take this guy down. There's another sniper over there. I'm pretty sure we can use our... Oh, wait. Can we just claw that guy? Nice, no, too far. I was going to say we could use the remote control batarang to, like, stun him, but I don't think we need to. I think we can just sort of run around this way. <laughs> Okay, we're stuck in the brush. I think we can... Yeah, there we go. Where is he? Alright. This guy... Let's get rid of the snipers. Snipers spoil all the fun. Oh, that probably <laughs> tweaked his spine a little bit. Alright. There's also, like, a building right over here that I want to go on top of. Get away from me, guys. Guys, I have something to do. So there's a little explosive thing in here that we can get. You can get. Again, you can see in your detective vision, and so it's so tempting to play the whole game in detective vision, but I don't wanna. It's the moral of that. Riddler's secrets, yay. You 
All these things count for points. They let you upgrade, so it's worth collecting. All right, now we can fight, guys. Oh, God, get away from me. There we go. Beat up this guy, this guy, this guy. Let's uh, break this guy's arm. <laughs> That's the combo takedown. Oh, we'll break his leg. That works, too. Let's stun this guy. Knock this guy over, and kaboom! It's all about flair, guys. I could have just punched him. I could have just punched him and put him down. But you got to do it with flair and panache. Okay, we want to go to the left, I think. Right? That's where we want to go? Yeah. Sometimes I have trouble with, uh, with directions when I'm looking at a map. <laughs> I'm used to having some kind of GPS. Most video games kind of tell you where to go. Kill these chattering teeth. Again, I don't know what Joker is thinking with these teeth or why they count. Like, does, is Batman, like, is he so petty that he's like, not only do I want to defeat Joker, but like anything that he might value in this world, I want to destroy, even if it's sort of harmless. Ah, oh, shoot, that guy broke my combo. I won't let it happen again. I'm gonna kill this guy. Damn it, <laughs> it did happen again. Oh man, the angles. Okay. I just need to get to like a point where I can use a combo takedown and we'll use it on the uh, guy who blocks all my attacks. Or maybe we'll just hit him. And we'll break this guy's leg instead to show my bat aggression. It's really showing dominance when you just straight up break somebody's leg. I think that you're in charge. when If you've broken someone's leg, you're the one who's in charge. Oh, and a punch to the butt to finish you off. He's not going to be pooping right for weeks. Hey, look, there's, uh, they've murdered guards. That's uncool. We can give these guards the honorable death they deserve by letting their bodies lie on the ground rather than be strung up. I guess that's better. Uh, we also got another upgrade here. Um, we are going to go with... Ah, hell, we'll go with the double batarang. The twin batarangs. So now when I throw a Batarang, I throw two at once, so I can knock out two guys at once. It's pretty handy. Okay. There's snipers here, I remember this. Sucker! <laughs> Whoa! It'd be awesome if he just killed them, but nah, they tie like a little rope to their leg. So it's like, they survive. Oh my god! Okay, this is where the remote control Batarang comes in. We're gonna knock this guy out from afar. He's just like, doo 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 doo. This will be the first. Oh, right in the side of the head! I was gonna say, this will be the first time we've gotten the battering to work. Nope. Batman, stop wasting time! Get over there, dude! Get over there! Guy's like still lying down. Oh my god. <laughs> okay. He's just like, what the hell hit me, man? It's uncool. These guys have no peripheral vision. That's okay. All right. So there's two more snipers. So this is actually where the um, where the remote control battering. I remember using it around this point more than any other, because um, it is useful for taking out those snipers. Holy crap! I just dodged two sniper shots. Yikes! I thought I was being all sneaky. But no, they uh, they definitely saw me. He's like, where did that bat go? That stinking bat. Oh, God, he sees me. He sees me. Okay, the hell with this. Remote control, this guy's sorry, but... Okay, where is he? Reveal yourself. Oh, he's trying to shoot me, too. Yes. All right, let's try and do this now. Hopefully the other guy didn't hear it. His friend is, like, lying unconscious. He's like, what? Let's see if we can take them both down together. Ah, hell with it. We'll just do one. Whee! Oh, <laughs> he clued into that. <laughs> okay, hold on. I want to take them both down. I don't want to leave any witnesses. Batman doesn't leave survivors. Oh, I think I knocked him out by throwing a batarang into his face. Here we go. 
Yeah, buddy, you too! I don't know how he has time to tie those ropes, but he is, like, the fastest knot in the West, I guess. Alright. So they got a few hits on, on me, but that's okay. You know, if anyone ever really was Batman in real life, it's like, I've read that that is like, oh. Oh, oh clunk. Head first into the ground. Like, yeah, those guys are brain damaged. Oh, look at his spine. It's hardcore. If anyone really was Batman in real life and, like, ran around trying to solve crime and, like, beat up thugs, it's like I've read that, like, one or two little punches per night that landed on you would accumulate and you get serious injuries eventually. Hey, stop taunting me with your butt. Ain't you got a cat to rescue from a tree or something? Hmm. <laughs> That's right. Okay. Go on, get lost. Well, guess what, guys? I know a secret way in. Up. High up. I'm pretty sure I do. Pretty sure there's a way in here. Oh, like right there. Like that looks like a way in. <laughs> now that I have my back claw. Yeah, so I wouldn't have been able to do this earlier in the game, but now I can, obviously. So, hence, new gadgets, unlocking new parts of the island, new abilities. So today, we're really trying to work our way to Killer Croc. Once we get to, if we get to Killer Croc, I'll feel like it was a successful run today. And that might be as far as we end up getting in the game. Because this is a big game. Like, it would take... Well, it probably wouldn't take that much longer to finish the game, but like... You know, it'd take a couple more videos, and... I mean, my channel's really focused on showcasing... Oh! <laughs> breaking arms! Uh, it's focused on showcasing individual games. Uh, not necessarily spending, you know, like... Uh, eight hours beating a specific game, so... Uh, not that I wouldn't love to continue to play this game. Uh, I don't know, like, if there's enough interest, I'll finish the game, but... I don't want to hold you guys hostage. Because, obviously, I love Batman, but... Maybe you guys are like, yeah, Batman's cool, Jay, but... We get it. We're ready to move on to the next game. And, you know, fair enough. Everyone, not everyone has to love Batman the way I do. Just more Batman for me to love. <laughs> Which... <laughs> sounds like I'm making love to Batman, but you know what I mean. Ah, doesn't even get out of the way of an explosion. Because he's too Batman. As Gotham's veins slowly filled with pain and suffering, the effects were felt everywhere. I like these, like... Amadeus Arkham things because it makes me feel like Gotham is cursed and it's always been haunted by like evil spirits It's like a very interesting spiritual angle to Batman, which is kind of cool Like his ghosts and stuff don't really exist in the Batman universe But it's kind of cool to like in like a Nolan way through like um, You know 18th century diaries and stuff that may or may not be accurate to sort of include them so it's sort of like a way to include supernatural elements without fully including supernatural elements. If that makes sense, what I'm saying. Okay, we need to use our new Batarang abilities here. Grab this guy. Here's what I'm going to do. Grab you. Throw you there. Finish you off. Boom. That's how you get the combo takedowns in, like, big groups. Because those are worth the most points. So you, like, toss them far away. You get them. Everyone else is too far away. Like, by the time they run over to stop you, it's, like, definitely too late. Uh, let's see how high we can get this combo multiplier. Whoa, get away from me. I like how they're wearing, like, clown noses and stuff, too. Like, Joker has, like, a dress code. It's like, you must dress like a clown. No, no, no! You ruined my combo, buddy. You didn't know but I had an awesome combo. And it's done now. Well, I've riddled you with punches and bruises, so I guess that's good enough. All right, so now we have to find Dr. Young's research, which, let's see, where, if I were a doctor, where would I keep my most dangerous and awesome research? Hmm, hmm, seriously, what's with all the teeth? What was Joker trying to do? Oh god! They have guns! I did not even notice that. Uh, he, like, we both stunned each other. Oh, right in the hip. I love that hip punch. I feel like he's, like, intentionally trying to make them never be able to walk straight again. Um, didn't even realize that guy had a gun. By the time I noticed, I was already punching him. Arkham Library. History okay. is so important. The traumatic event here, here and there. It's enough to drive anyone. Let's go this guy. 
Have this guy. Oh yeah, there we go. Now we got a flow going. Break this guy's arm. I hate these guys because they always interrupt your combos. <laughs> you hear that guy scream? Ah! Throw this guy right into that guy. <laughs> and toss this guy. Knock this guy down. Ah, oh, man. 19. That was pretty good. Pretty good. Could have done better. But the problem is I need more guys. If Joker could just be a pal and, like, send more, send more henchmen at me, it would really make my life a lot easier. But I guess he ain't going to do that. All right. Let's see what's going on in here. Riddler trophy. I will take it. Um... We have to hop up here. I kind of forget what uh, what we have to do here. What do we? Ow! <laughs> you jerk! So soon? What about the other guests? They'll just die if you don't turn up and save the day. Stop taunting me with the hostages, Joker. The problem is he's got hostages. If I was more on my game and I had not let him, what? What? Where am I? If I'd not let him get hostages. This would be far easier. Because then he would have nothing to threaten me with. Mm -hmm. There we go. Always got to look up and around you guys. Have your bat senses about you. I have no idea where I'm going. I just assume Batman knows what's going on. I'm like, oh, you want to go up, eh? Alright, I'm down with that. Hey, look, we're in a place. Oh, I kind of remember what you have to do here. You have to do this. Clink. <laughs> <laughs> Just full on destroy the library. And is there anything else we need to do up here? Hey look, there's a another vent. So I guess there's only like a minute for me to like save these people. But I gotta get all my collectibles! They don't understand, they're just hostages. Alright. Let me save ya. Let me did Oh god! <laughs> Some bomb. I forget if you leave it past a minute what happens. Like if it actually kills the hostages or if Joker just is like, you figured out it's just a, a punching glove in a box. I'm sorry. When I came to... Also this guy. How does he... How is this the only guy... I think Arkham employs like nothing but clones or something like that. It's like the same guard we've encountered for the entire game. They couldn't... In, Rocksteady couldn't afford one more character model for a face to mix it up a little bit. I guess I had to... Draw the limit somewhere. But yeah, doesn't this mansion, even the mansion, looks like it's in disrepair. Like, look, these stacks of papers, this isn't like the criminals took over the, the nut house and that's why there's stacks of papers everywhere. No, that's just like, literally, the, the library is not really being taken care of very well. So, like, this place, man, Arkham Asylum, it's, it's messy and dirty and grimy. It's not the kind of prison you want to be sent to. Like there's another thing up here. What do we got up here? I bet it's another Riddler thingy thingamajig. And Batman likes his collectibles. Oh yeah. So what is your favorite Batman of all time? Is it the Nolan Batmans? Is it Arkham Asylum Batman? Is it Animated Series Batman? Is it Michael Keaton Batman? Or maybe even Adam West Batman? I don't know. I think you guys can tell that my favorite... I mean, I have three favorites. The Animated Series... Arkham Asylum, and Nolan. Like, those are my three favorite Batmans. Depending on my mood or what I'm thinking of, I might pick one over the other. I think the animated Batman will always have a special place in my heart. And I think the Arkham Batman is pretty much just the grown-up version of the animated Batman. And the Nolan Batman is like a thing by itself. Like, it's a totally different beast. But it's a pretty cool interpretation of the character, I think. So... Um, and I grew up watching the Michael Keaton Batman. I like him too, but I think the other three edge him out a little bit. The Adam West Batman is just a little too silly. I watched him as a kid. It's fine as a kid. It's fine just sort of for, for fun sake. But I wouldn't say it's like a version of Batman that I like, you know, really like, if that makes sense. Like, I don't dislike it, but I don't know if I'd like it. Um, all right, let's kill these teeth. I don't know why we had to bust into this room to kill some teeth. That was like the only reason to be in this room. It's because there were teeth. Teeth to, to, to destroy. Okay. 
Um, where do I have to go now, by the way? Batman is just like no fear when it comes to like diving off of a really high gargoyle. Imagine in real life there was no such thing as fall damage. That'd be pretty cool. You could just like jump off a building and not worry about it. There we go. So when in doubt, go up, because Batman likes to be in high places. He doesn't just have friends in high places, he likes to be in high places. Um, let's go over here, keep going up. So we kind of have to... How do we do this? Oh, there's a door right here. I was like, how do I get into that bell thing? But I guess this is the place we actually want to go. Answer me! I said I don't know! Sugar, it was me all along! Surprise, it's Batman! <laughs> hey, that guy's wearing a collar. What is happening to the thugs around here? They're being dressed up in makeup. That's What's funny. What's that collar do? Why is it making that noise? It's like the collar it's is the crying. suicide collar, but it sounds weird. Suicide collar. Well, they've got some other name, but, well, we just use them to... Interesting. Okay, so Joker's put these suicide collars on his dudes. So now when you take out a dude, um, rather than just being able to be sneaky about it and none of the other guys knowing, now they'll definitely know. So, um, now basically it's harder to do these, like, stealth, uh, sections. Not that much harder, but a little bit harder. You guys will see what I mean in a second. Okay, let's start over here with this guy here. We'll grab this guy. Okay, so as soon as we take him out, now his collar is going to go off and Joker's going to be like, There's a dude who's out! You idiots! Or maybe not. Maybe that guy was not wearing a collar. Let's see if we can catch this guy around the corner. Oh no, that did not work. Damn it! Damn it, he's gonna kill us! Oh my god. We definitely messed that up. That was totally not Batman. Um, you can sometimes grab them around corners. I think I had to be in corner cover. Which I was not. Okay, so now I just can't make any mistakes. Which is great, I love living on the edge. Let's try and like see where everyone is. I think this guy is alone enough. We can get him. Yeah, there we go. Sucker! Okay, now before his friends come, we gotta get the hell- Oh, there was a guy like right around there. We'll grab this guy too. Yeah! <laughs> the funny thing is like if you knock one guy down, when they all are like going for him, they're all like running in a straight line, you can pick off stragglers. Right, here we go. They're separating over here, too. Come on, separate. There's no reason to stay together. It's not like bad, bad things will happen to you. Get him! <laughs> yeah. Like, see, while they're running over there, it leaves this guy totally undefended. He's got to be quick about this. All right. Sometimes, even while they're, like, looking over the body, you can, like, mess with them. Like, you can grab this guy <laughs> while his friend is, like, right behind him. Oh, God. Get him, get him, get him, get him. Yes, we got them both. Yeah, there you go. That's how you do it. That's how you Batman. I'm Batman. You Using them as bait for one another. That's totally Batman. All right, all right, all right, all right. There you go. You're free. So this is Aaron Cash again, the guy whose hand got bit off by Killer Croc. Maybe we should spend some money on health? Feels like such a waste, though. I feel like I don't want to do that. Wait, what is this? The uh, 5 instead of 8. I'd rather have the multiplier, to be honest. Um, battering, power. We don't need it. Pretty sure these other things are good at the very end. Oh, look at this. Sonic Batarang, that you can use to lure guys around. We'll totally get that. I will invest in the Sonic Sonic Batarang. Thanks. Where did You're I welcome, dude. I told her to run. These guys came in looking for. I told her to go to. Does okay, office and hide. Got it. <laughs> I feel like skipping dialogue is like a universally gamer thing to do. You know, like for anyone who's played Legend of Zelda or whatever, like. 
Definitely the first time you play those games, you listen to all the dialogue, but in every subsequent playthrough, it's just like you hold B. It's like, you know, like you're not interested in hearing all the uh, all the dialogue. All right. Let's, uh, is there anything to do in here? Oh, oh, we got to go this way. Good thing I checked. Didn't even realize there was a room over here. Wait, is it over here? Batman's getting a little lost. If there really was an Arkham Asylum, by the way, I feel like... Oh. Okay, so we can't get there. Oh, I see. There's another door back over here. Let's try that one instead. If there really was an Arkham Asylum, by the way, I would totally love to go do a tour of it. Like, this building looks magnificent. In fact, I think there was a Batman Arkham VR game that they made not too long ago. Um, I never played it, but actually, maybe I should look into that, because... I bet that's a pretty cool game. Like, just the environments here are pretty impressive. I've done a tour of Alcatraz before. And actually, the first time I ever went to Alcatraz Island, you think that when you get to the island, there's going to be tour groups and stuff. No, they're just, like, audio tapes. And if you want, you can, like, borrow one. And you can go and kind of go on a tour by yourself. And you can just walk freely around the island. Like, the, when you get to Alcatraz Island, nobody watches you. You can go do whatever you want. Walk into any building you want, whatever you want. It's actually kind of interesting. Um, so you can grab like a little tape player and some headphones and it'll tell you where to go and give you an audio tour if you want. Or you don't have to do that if you don't want to. This is... Where am I? Where am I? I think I'm in... Oh, there's some more Joker teeth. This is like Calendar Man or something like that. His like room. Or no, it's Amadeus Arkham's jail cell. Something like that. Anyway. Um, yeah, I, I expected, like, The Rock Alcatraz would be, like, you'd be in a tour group and, it, you know, it would watch where you'd go and stuff like that. But now you can just wander the island. It's actually pretty cool to, like, go to the island. And I feel like um, Arkham Asylum here is a bit like Alcatraz, where it's, like, this big sprawling island prison with multiple buildings and very old architecture. Did we just come back out the way we came? Damn it. Batman got a little turned around in there. Sorry, folks. I don't know. Um, are there any cool, like, old buildings or anything that, like, you guys have been to? Like, not necessarily prisons or hospitals or stuff, but just, like, kind of interesting old places. Door is blocked. Okay, seriously? How do I get into this place? Let's see. When in doubt, find a way to go up. It's Batman's credo. So how do we up around here? There's got to be a way to do this. When you're like an old boiler or something. Like if this is the walk to your office in the morning, that's kind of gross. <laughs> I would not feel like I was working in a quality place if this was the walk to my office. There we go. I found up. Bingo. Now, see the benefit of playing this in detective mode? You can actually see important things that you need to find. It's much harder to see this stuff with it off. But uh, I'll turn it off in a second. I feel like the game looks, looks better when you have it off. It'll be open any second. Damn right, it. thugs. It's a cold day in hell when this ghoul rises again. Raz. Raz al ghoul. Actually, it's Raish. Raish al ghoul, but whatever. Close enough, Raz. And these guys are so easy. Come here so I can break something. Yeah, oh! I tried to rip his head off, but it did not come off. Here's Raz al ghoul, by the way. He's dead. I'd have solved all the puzzles by now. Good for you, Riddler. You made the puzzles. So I'm not super... Telling me you would have solved all the puzzles is not impressive when you make them, dude. That's like rule one to making puzzles. Batman struggled with that great. He needs to work on his... He skipped arm day. But he can't skip arm day. He's got to work on that. Later in the game, you get better at tearing these grates out of the walls. The night wears on. I feel like this has got to be the worst night in Batman's life. Well, I mean, besides the night his parents were murdered. Um, maybe that night is a little bit worse. But, oh, no, there's a black mask behind me, too. Did you guys notice that? Now is, who opened it? There's so many little Easter eggs. Whoever opened it knew the combination. Blah, blah, blah. Now we got to do detective stuff again. Hold on, can we scan the black masks? Riddle solved. That one could have been solved by a monkey. But good job, nevertheless. New Slash, we are monkeys. Evolution is real, Riddler. I thought you were smart. All right. Our evidence scanner has scanned the safe 
and decided that it was Dr. Young herself who opened the safe. That revolution, revelation may not be that impressive to you guys because you may have no idea who Dr. Young is. That's okay, though. We've, we, we've been definitely playing it fast and loose with the story. So uh, I don't expect you guys to know who Dr. Young is. Okay, I guess we gotta... I guess Batman doesn't want to open the door, so we gotta go back from whence we came out the grates. Or maybe he just likes traveling in grates. There we go. Alright. So, she went this way. Oh, there's guys. Alright, you guys want to tussle? Because I'll tussle. I will tussle the snot out of you. Oh, man, I broke my combo. You have no idea how mad that makes me. So mad I could break a bone in a couple more hits. Like now, you're the unlucky victim of a snap. Oh man, I'll just punch your face in. Let's just beat this guy up. Oh! <laughs> I like how they like hold their face. Like the, mo the last second before they lose consciousness, they're like, oh god, it hurts. All right. Well, we're in the West Wing. <sighs> More presents. What is with the teeth, Joker? Seriously. It's just sad at a certain point. It's like you don't even have a plan. Okay. Um, oh, we need we need to have our detective vision on here. Yeah, so she went this way, I'm guessing. There we go. So Dr. Young was the one who was tampering with Bane's formula, his venom, um, trying to basically create Titan. There it is. And we have to follow this to find out where she ran to because we need to try to help her because she's probably in a lot of trouble. That's the expectation anyway. All right, so she ran into the library here. Let's see where she went. I'm pretty sure that she just grabbed a book or something. There we go. So she's imagine like she's running around like putting her hands all over the walls. Like, honestly, when I when I go places, I do not put my hands on this many parts of a wall. But I guess she has a different way of walking. So she hid her notes in a book. But you can't hide from the Batman. Batman knows all. I found Dr. Young. He's like some kind of crime fighting Santa. Joker. It's never this simple with him. Why wouldn't he keep it? I guess it's too dangerous. The knowledge is too dangerous to exist. Not the formula! What am I going to do? Who can help me now? What are you going to do? <laughs> hey, why am I coughing? That's suspicious. A little suspicious, don't you guys think? Wayne Manor? What the heck? What the heck is going on? The music's getting creepy. We might have been gassed again. <laughs> this is the coolest part of the game, I think. I don't know, do you guys agree? Do you, do you like these, obviously, scarecrow parts? Where the line between reality and fantasy gets blurred. I feel like it does a pretty good job of capturing what it would be like to hallucinate. Kind of like if you guys have ever seen the movie Eternal Sunshine of the Spotless Mind. I feel like that movie really captures what it's like to dream. Like it's very disjointed and things from outside or inside, like like rain is inside and it's like, these are like alleyway things, like crime alley basically, but we're also outside, you know, like it's, it's very surreal. And I feel like Eternal Sunshine really captured that. And I feel like these scarecrow moments really capture what it'd be like to hallucinate. Um, Cause it sort of blends reality and fantasy. And obviously ghosts are knocking all this stuff over. And we are essentially right in Crime Alley. Uh, I can't run, by the way. It's not letting me run. Yikes. That is not the cherished childhood memory that you want to hold on to. Yikes. No wonder Batman hates guns. Batman would totally be in favor of uh, gun control, let me tell you. When that happens to you as a kid, like, yeeks. That is horrible. And that is how his journey to Batman began. 
The curse of the bat. Come on, this way. Interestingly, now we play the rest of the game as a, lo a small child. So this is internally what Batman feels like. I guess, actually, it's not true. Obviously, we've become Batman again, but maybe on the inside, we're just a little baby Bruce for the rest of the game. Just kind of... Maybe on the inside, Batman really does feel like a child. Oh, well, that's weird. I always think of Batman as, like, super mature and deep and, like, uh, like a, a man's man. But maybe he, in the inside, he's like a baby man. This one part I hate because you... This is the fastest I can walk. They really don't want you skipping past this part very quickly. This is what I would count as an unskippable cutscene. Because although you are playing, you essentially just have to listen to that cutscene. There's nothing you can do. And boom, we're back in Scarecrow's hallucination land, which is totally awesome. And listen, and son. Call me Jim. That was my first encounter with Jim Gordon. I'll never forget it. It took place in a weird, hallucinated purgatory between life and death with a giant scarecrow man in the distance. Okay, here we go. Just gotta be really careful here that he does not catch us. You gotta pull this thing down so we can hide behind it. So let's wait until he... There we go! Run, 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 Stop. <laughs> if he sees you, he just straight up kills you. Did you see that? The lightning turned me into Scarecrow for the briefest of seconds. Oh, shoot. There was another crate I was supposed to pull down. Yeah, he... You got me. And at the end of fear, oblivion. Nice. The Scarecrow. Man, we're like pushing an hour on this video, too. And I want to get the Killer Croc. <coughs> I don't know what to do. Maybe I'll make this a three-parter? I think that's what's going to happen. I feel like three-parters never do good on my channel, but whatever. Maybe I'll do it anyway. Because I'm addicted to Batman and you can't tell me to stop. Sir, don't you think you've had enough Batman? I'll tell you when I've had enough Batman. Just give me one more level. That's all I need. One more sweet, sweet level. I'm going to pull some down too. Okay, let's beat Scarecrow. Oh, whoa, that was a terrible move. Yikes. Let's beat Scarecrow here, and then I guess we'll we'll break and we'll do one more. I'll just release it tomorrow. We're not going to, like, use up another Monday or Thursday or Saturday spot for this. Let's just screw guys. We're going all in a Batman. You ever have that? You, like, sit down to play a video game, and you're like, I'm just going to play for ten minutes. And then, like, two hours later, you're like, one more life. This part, by the way, I also always thought was cool. Oh, look, I transformed to Scarecrow briefly. So you're fighting skeletons. But again, Batman is hallucinating, right? So it's like, this might actually be happening. Um, and in the real world, you'd be like, oh, so he's just fighting thugs. But I always thought of it like this. When he turns on his detective mode, he sees skeletons, right? So he might be hallucinating, but be in detective mode. So it's like he thinks he's fighting skeletons, but he's really just fighting normal thugs, but he's seeing them as skeletons because his detective mode is on and he's hallucinating. Like, do you guys get what I'm saying? Like... I think that's a really cool idea. And in my head, that's the canon of what's happening. That's what I believe is happening. All right, here. That's so weird when it transforms you into Scarecrow for like the briefest of seconds. And let's see where he can see. Okay. Jump up here. This level's all just about patience. I wonder what's happening in the real world that, like, Scarecrow is, like... Like, is Scarecrow, like, trying to fight me or something in the real world? I don't know. Okay, come on, come on, come on. Get around the ledge. Get around the ledge. There we go. <laughs> I remember these points, like, always made my heart race a little bit. It's, like, it, it reminds me of, like, a dream where, like, somebody's chasing you and you're, like, trying to outrun them. But, I mean, it's kind of similar. Not entirely same thing obviously all right fighting some more skeletons come on skeleton men do your worst i love how the skeletons just explode when you hit them not so fast skeleton man is that all of them did i kill them all right any more skeletons you want me to fight scarecrow oh there's one more Okay, we'll just beat this guy into the wall. 
So maybe if we are going with the idea that Batman's hallucinating and he's just got his detective mode on, he's actually punching them, these guys, so hard that their limbs are, like, coming apart. Um, because the skeletons do explode when you punch them enough. Uh, I don't know if that's true or not, but it's kind of a frightening proposition if it is. Okay. Up! There we go. Now... How do we do this? <laughs> I forget. So let's see where he looks. So he stares at this part for a while, and then he goes all the way to the right. Okay. Just gotta wait till he moves away. Come on, Scarecrow, there's nothing here for you. Go, Batman, go! Oh, God! I, <laughs> I fell off the ledge. I thought I made that jump. I guess not. Okay, here we go. This time I got it for sure. Yeah! There we go. I wonder why I just fell to my death that one time. Because Batman just did not feel like running. Run, 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 There we go. Take our time. No one needs to be a hero here. I feel like in every single Batman comic, when Batman encounters Scarecrow, he, like, overpowers Scarecrow's, like, mind gas. Actually, I, I read once that there's one comic where uh, Scarecrow gassed Joker, and the gas had no effect on Joker, which is kind of cool, because it's supposed to... His fear gas is supposed to, like, bring out your deepest fear, and instead it's like Joker had no fear, and he just beat Scarecrow with a chair instead. <laughs> I mean, jo Joker's one of those characters where he, like, almost can see through the fourth wall. I think in some comics he even can. He knows he's in a comic, um, but they don't play that up too much because they don't want to turn him into, like, another Deadpool because he is supposed to exist in the fictional world. But anyway, yay, we got Scarecrow. We blasted him in the belly with pure bat light. And now the game is over forever, I guess. Oh, no. We somehow found our way up here in the bell tower. Joker's wondering where we are. <laughs> I wonder if this bell tower is, like, an homage to the Tim uh, Burton Batman movie. Because there's a scene where there is a bell, and Joker breaks it like that, and it falls down and collapses all the stairs to get up a bell tower. Yikes, that is a far fall. Good thing there's no fall damage in Batman's world. Alright, so now our new mission, if we choose to accept it, is to go over there. Well, I feel like this is a good length of video for a second part. Um, I thought I was only going to do two parts, but we're going to do one more part of Batman Arkham Asylum. So guys, if you have been enjoying this extra long playthrough, go ahead, like the video. Don't forget to subscribe. Don't forget to, to share this uh, video with all your friends and family. And by the way, Batman, here's one of the games in the book, A Thousand Link Video Games You Must Play Before You'll Die. Um, I didn't say this at the end of the last video, but I'm pretty sure you guys can guess. I think this game is 100% worth playing before you die. Um... The story is great, the atmosphere is great, the gameplay is great, the mechanics is great, the homages to Batman's past is great, the attention to detail is great, the voice acting is great. I personally love this game, so I would personally recommend it. Now, I understand that not everyone will enjoy this game, so not everyone's going to play it before they die, but as far as a game that I can full, fully get behind, I would say, if you in any way love Batman, you're going to love this game. But anyway, if you do want to see a little bit more of this game, tune back in tomorrow. I will release a part three just for funsies um, because I seem to not be able to stop playing this game, which has not happened in a while, but uh, it's good that it's happening. It's good to like games. It's good to like games. So until next time, my friends, take care of yourselves, and I'll give you a Batman piece. Peace. And a boot to the face.